Do you want to be poor when you retire? Do you want to work until you're like 70? Or do you want to retire before you're 60? I want to retire before I'm 60. That's why I invest every single week into the market. And this week's, or actually last week's big market news, is the split of SCHD. So that's what we're going to talk about today is this little three-for-one split of SCHD. Follow along. Make sure you give me a little thumbs up, please. I sure do appreciate it. The channel appreciates it. Let's minimize this screen here, swap over. So we got a little summary. This is on SeekingAlpha.com, their little website. So Schwab Asset Management announced a three-to-one share splits for 20 different ETFs, including SCHD. SCHD is a big-name ETF, making it easier for investors to purchase shares. It says it right there. SCHD offers a diversified por portfolio uh, with a 3.4% dividend yield and 12 percent five-year dividend growth that's pretty good making a strong comp complement to tech heavy portfolios okay shg top 10 holdings including home depot verizon are quality companies though some are currently overvalued based on forward p e ratios despite some overvaluations shg remains a long-term wealth compounder compounding wealth over and over quarter over quarter get those dividends reinvest those dividends snowball effect just this past week schwab asset management announced share splits with for 20 etfs okay let's go through these 20 etfs let's click over here where are they here they are. so here's the 20 etfs ac schg schd schm SCHV, FNDX, you can read them on the screen. These are three for one, three for one, two for one, FNDA, SCHP. Okay, let's see how much how much do I have? Here's my account here. I currently have 50 of the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, SCHD. So you can do a three-year chart and see where it's at. It's up 11.3%. Five-year chart, 54%. Nice, very nice. So the current price is $83, so it'll drop down to below 30, like 27 or $28, or something like that. Let me see my calculator. Yeah, you can calculate it. So if you have if you have 100 shares, right? You have 100 shares, October 10th or October 11th. Now you're going to have 300 shares, but the dollar, the total dollar amount is going to stay the same. So if 100 shares and are $83, that's like $8,300. You're still going to have $8,300 worth of stock. It's just going to have 300 shares now. So the value of the ETF isn't going to change. It's just the price per share uh, is going to change. So here's some, looking at the chart below, you can see a breakdown of sector exposure with the ETF technology makes up 10% of the fund. Okay, what else? So 8374, what it's currently at. So here's what they're holding, uh, the Home Depot, Verizon, BlackRock, Cisco, Pfizer, Chevron Corporation, Bristol Myers, Lockheed Martin, Tex Instruments, Amgen, Amgen, I don't know. So that makes up 40% and they have 103 different holdings. So you can look up each one individually. If you want, you can go through and see exactly what they got and just buy each company individually. But it's easier just to buy this ETF, I think, in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I just invest for myself and I want to grow my account. I'll show you what I got here. I think my battery died. Oh, well, let me move this over a little bit more. All right, so this is where we're going to be at. So let's talk about it again. So $91,000 right here for $91,435 because I don't want to retire at 70 years old or 65. I want to be gone before I'm 60, retire and live my own life. So what do I do? I invest for me and what I think is going to be best for myself. And I have 50 shares of SCHD. I'm not saying you have to get it, but if you want to get it, SCHD is good. It's going to be a good price. It's going to be a real good price. Um, this is from the Schwab website. So October 10th, we already talked about this. And undergo three for one share. Three for one share split. ATF share split will apply to shareholders of record of close of markets October 9th. So it'll be October 10th then. So, it has a total expense ratio of 0 0.06. 
Not bad, not bad. Uh, $84.30, total for today's volume, shares. Premium discount 0 0.03. I don't really understand what premium discount means. So fund inception was 2011, October 20, 2011. It has $61 billion under its uh, management there. Total net assets. Uh, price to earnings 17.56. Price to cash flow 10.29. Return on equity 28.88%. All right, let's go here. Yield, SEC uh, yield, 3.64. Not bad. Distribution yield, 3.34. You take that 3.3 and you reinvest it every quarter, over and over and over, for years and years and years. You continue to reinvest until you're ready to retire. You should have a lot of money in there. So that's that, guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Go look up the information more on their website if you want to invest in ACHD. A lot of people love investing in SCHD, as you can see. Um, but uh, that's that, guys. Give me a little peace and a thumbs up. Take care.